just so we have everything organized, we are going to create a new controller for controlling our front end work. So let's go ahead and create that. So we'll create a new controller and the name of this controller is going to be a front end controller. So PHP Addison make controller front end controller right there. Okay, so the controller has been created. So let's head over to our app STP controllers directory and right here we have a front end controller. So our welcome view right here is displayed using a closure in our web.php right here at the top. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is rather than returning a view right here, we're going to remove that closure and we're going to direct it to our front end controller. So we'll say uses front end controller and you just use the index method as we'll just say home. Okay or we can call this index just to refer to the front page. Okay, then we're going to go to our front end controller and we're going to define that method. So public function and this is going to be index and this is going to return the view welcome.blade.php but I'm going to rename it to index. Okay, it's just so we are clear about what we're doing. So I'll rename this to index.blade.php. Okay, so if I refresh now, everything should still work perfectly, which it does. So we still have our view, but now we need to pass data from our view, from our controller, right? Now we're going to pass in some set of data. The first data that we're going to pass here is the title of the page. So I'll say title because we actually want this to be dynamic. Okay, so we want that on every page, we just pass in the title and the page will know what title to use. So right here we'll say with title and we're going to say the name of this is going to be the name of the site. Okay, so the title of the page on the home page is going to be the name of the site. And for us to get the name of the site, we need to go to our app settings table. So right here we're going to say setting first. So the first in the setting table and then we're going to get the site name. Okay, so now that we are passing the title, if we go to our index.blade.php, right here we no longer need to hard code this. We're gonna generate the title. So we'll just echo title right there. And if I refresh, you discover that the title of our blog is Lavos Blog Updated, and that's what we have in the title. So let's go ahead and actually update that. So I'll go to slash admin slash home. And I'll log in as Emily. And right here in the settings, I'll change this to Lavo's blog. So I'll update the site settings. And if I refresh right here, you discover we have Lavo's blog. How cool is that? Okay, so next thing. Since we said the title is gonna be the title of our site, we can also use the title in our header.blade. Okay, so right here, rather than saying this, we're gonna add co out the title. So we'll say title right here. And remember, this is going to be injected into our index.blade right here. So everything should just work perfectly. So if I refresh, obviously the name of the blog was this. But if I change this to Laros Awesome Blog and I update site settings and I refresh this, we discover we have Laros Awesome Blog. Okay. So, but I'll just go ahead and leave that as Laros Blog right there. So update site settings, settings saved. If I refresh, we have Lavos block. So that's awesome. Next step, we're going to have some categories right here, which are going to be the top categories for application. Okay. So we're going to create some categories. So the first category we're going to be creating. So we're just going to leave WordPress, but we're just going to remove this 4.7 update the category. And we're going to be creating a new one. And this category is going to be Lavo, obviously. And we'll save that. And we'll create another one. And this category is going to be, let's just say Ruby on Rails. It doesn't really matter. This is a demo application. So we have three. Let's go ahead and add a fourth. So we'll say create a new category. And this category is going to be let's just say tutorials. Okay, so we'll store that category and it's saved. 
So we have four categories in application, and these are just the main four. Okay, so you can we can go ahead and prioritize by deciding which ones show in the menu by hard coding them. But just so we have some four dynamic categories, in case we change them, we're gonna have dynamic right here. We're gonna use that. So looks like we need to pass in those categories. So let's head over to our front end controller. And right here, we're gonna say pass in with the categories in the application and we'll say category all, okay? So right there, we are passing in all the categories. But remember, if we have more categories, we would want to just have the first four. So how are we gonna do this? Lavo has a helpful method that is called take, and we can define the number of options or the number of rows that we wanna take. So we're gonna take four, and since this is a query builder method, we're gonna get the results. Okay, so these categories are just going to be four of them. So what we're going to be doing is looping through those categories in our index.blade.php. But since it's our header, we'll go to our header.blade.php and look through all of them. So let's do that right here. So we have all of these. We're going to remove all of this. And we need just one right here. So we'll loop through that one. So I'll cut this out and I'll say add for each categories that we passed in as category and for each we're gonna paste this in and uh, this is not gonna say news it's gonna say category name right there okay so i'll just clear this out and we'll take care of the link later okay so we are looping through all of the categories and we are displaying the name so let's refresh and the app category not found because in my front end controller i need to pick that up so use app category okay so if i refresh missing argument one forget so looks like let me remove this all method and there we go okay so we need to take four then get it okay without actually getting all the records so right there we have wordpress Lavo will be on Rails tutorials. So it's getting four. If I create a new category right here, and I'm just gonna call this category career, and I'll store that category right there. If I refresh this, there should be only four right here. So it's taking the first four records. Okay, so our navigation is set. So right here we have WordPress, Lavo will be on Rails tutorials. Okay, so why don't we just get five? Okay, so we just say take five right there. And if I refresh, it took the last one. So we have WordPress level, Ruby on Rails, tutorials, career, and we have the search menu. Next thing, the first post right here should be the latest post from our database. So we need to pass in the latest post from our database. So we'll say with and we'll say first post. So the query builder method that we're going to be using here is the order by, and this order by is going to take in the field that we're trying to order by, and we'll say created at, and we're going to say in descending order. And right here, we're going to say get the first result right there. Okay, so order all the posts in our database by the created at field and put them in descending order. Okay, so the later the post, it means the larger the created at timestamp. So if we put them in descending order, it means that the one with the largest is going to be the first. And we're just going to get the first right there, meaning we'll get the first post or the latest post from our database. Okay, so let's go ahead to our admin. So blog.dev slash admin slash home. And right here, we're going to create a new post. And let me just see if we have any post. So we have no post. And we have no trashed post so let's create a new post and this is gonna be working with a lot of effort and i'm gonna upload some image and back into my images i'll upload this one and the category is gonna be career and we have just one tag right here but we're gonna edit it later and put in some useful tags so let's get some lorem ipsum text and uh, right here we're gonna get and uh, right here, we're going to generate eight paragraphs and generate lorem ipsum. Okay, so there's our lorem ipsum text. I'll copy all of that and I'll go right into my WYSIWYG and I'm going to paste that right in. Okay, so I'm going to select this tag just for now 
and I'll store the post. Okay, so the post was created successfully. Let's create another post and this is going to be installing new plugins into WordPress. And right here, we're going to select an image, maybe this one, and the category is going to be career and the tag is going to be WordPress. And I'll just copy the lorem ipsum text and paste that right in. So I'll start the post and now we have two posts in our database. If we go ahead to view, so this first post should contain the latest post, which is the one that we just created. So let's head over to our index and uh, where we are displaying the first post right here, we're going to display the first post using this variable right here. Okay. So let's head over to our index and right here, this is where we are displaying the first article, which is a standalone. It's standing alone. So right here, the image is going to be dynamic and we're going to echo out the first post featured right here. Okay. The next thing, the alternative text is going to be the first post title and right here, when we zoom, we want to see the first post featured also. And the next thing is the title. So we're going to say we want to see the first post title. And the, the next thing right here, we want to see the first post created at. So we'll say first post created at field. And we're going to be coming back to that in a second. Okay. So let's just go ahead and leave this at that and refresh to see if we have a first post. So you see installing new plugins into WordPress. So it got the latest from our database. If you go ahead and check our post, so all posts right here, we discover you have working with a lot of effort and installing new plugins into WordPress. And our first post right here is the latest post in our database. Okay. So right here for the title, what I'm going to do is simply give this a class of text center so that it should be aligned and that's better. Okay. So this goes to this page, which is not found, but we're going to be taking care of that in a second. But right now let's take care of this time stop. Now a PHP package, which is very, very popular. It's called carbon and we're going to be reviewing carbon, but what carbon helps us do is actually format our timestamps in a very, very beautiful way. For example, since all of our dates, declared in Laravel, for example, the created at are already timestamps or instances of carbon, which is simply a PHP class that formats dates very well. We'll have access to methods like div for humans right here. And you see this method is going to format this in a very pretty way. Let's refresh and see. And you see, it says three minutes ago. Okay. So that's when the post was published and we are using a library called carbon and it has all of these methods right there, but don't worry. We're going to be reviewing carbon, but just know there are a bunch of methods that carbon can use. So that's one of them. Okay. Next thing is right here. We should actually display what category this belongs to. So where we're just going to echo first post and we'll get the category, which is the relationship and we'll get the name of the category. So if I refresh right there, discover we have the category is career. Okay. So it goes to nowhere right now, but we're going to edit that. So this is dynamic. This is dynamic. And the next thing is this too. Let's take care of this in the next video.